On Earth, our life of feeling develops itself into a stage which we can call the animal-like consciousness. If we could look at this stage with spiritual eyes, then we would see how the soul radiates its obtained consciousness as an aura. After many lives, this aura condenses itself into an astral world. Because millions of souls spread over the whole of the Earth radiate this aura, this radiance creates an astral sphere, a spiritual world, which we can call the land of hatred, lust and violence. When the first souls end their last life on Earth, they are automatically attracted as a spirit by the sphere, which they have built up themselves unknowingly. When they awaken in that sphere, they do not realize that they have died on Earth. They do not yet have the consciousness to look critically at their new surroundings. They still exist by means of their animal-like life of feeling. Every second, new souls now arrive from Earth into the spiritual sphere. Decades later, the first souls get the feeling that there is something wrong. They begin to wonder where the sun, the trees, the animals are. Because they think about earthly matters, they are attracted by the earthly reality. Here, they want to pick up their ordinary lives again, but their spiritual hands cannot get a grip on the material world. They do not understand any of it. They still feel exactly the same as their earthly brothers. They are spiritually one. Because of this, a natural possession is affected. Spiritually one with the earthly human being, they can finally experience the earth again. They remain one until that human on earth dies. At that moment, they must relinquish the guest body. Their amazement is great that another spirit appears from this body. They understand that this spirit has lived all that time in that body and that they themselves no longer have an earthly body. Because of this, they start to realize that they themselves already died before and now continue to live as a spirit. In order to be able to inhabit the guest body as long as possible, they start to protect and to help their earthly human beings. As a spirit, they are not bound by time and they experienced many guest bodies successively. In this way, they gain much experience and knowledge, and so the first discoveries are made. When they help the human being on Earth, they make a remarkable discovery. Helping gives them a pleasant feeling. In order to experience that wonderful emotion more often, they apply themselves to helping. By means of this, they discard the animal-like grade of feeling and they master a higher grade of sentience, which radiates inwardly. Their aura now shows that they have discarded the feelings of hatred, lust and violence. After some considerable time, the calm aura of the first souls starts to condense into a new spiritual sphere, the land of twilight. Because the first souls continue to apply themselves to helping, their life of feeling starts to radiate light. In this way, the first sphere of light is born. When they continue to research life and death, they notice that the majority of souls do not go to a spiritual sphere in the hereafter when they die. They see how immediately after dying, these souls withdraw into a deep darkness, where it is immensely quiet. The researchers are surprised, because they do not yet know this world. It looks like a world of the unconscious, because they cannot perceive any conscious activity. Until the soul begins to move again, does the soul finally go to the hereafter? No. The soul goes back to the earth, to a woman and a man. The soul connects with an egg cell at the moment of fertilization by a sperm cell. In this way, the researchers get to know reincarnation. But when is the soul reincarnated for the first time? 
When the researchers tune into this question, they feel attracted by another planet. Here, they see where and how the soul began its cosmic journey. They feel that they have lived here themselves, that they also once inhabited this sea lion-like organism. But where does the soul ultimately come from? The researchers now see how the soul experiences its first life, and how it releases its cell body with the first death, and continues as a soul. When the researchers dwell on the dying off of the first cell body, they notice to their amazement that another cell is formed from this rotting. It looks like a human cell, but it is smaller, less conscious. When this cell is used up, a soul also comes out of this. But when the researchers follow this soul in its evolution process, they have to accept that they end up with the animal kingdom. Is the animal born from the human being? The researchers go from one surprise to the next. The following of the cosmic life path of the soul gives them a deep insight into the origin and the evolution of all life reflected in the growth of the embryo in the womb. Because of all these experiences, the researchers expand their consciousness. They become cosmically conscious. They start to teach other inhabitants of the hereafter and help in their spiritual development. Because of the growth of their love and consciousness, they build up sphere of light after sphere of light. When the golden light of their consciousness has built up the seventh sphere, they know every law of life of the first three cosmic grades of life. Then they begin to feel that the hereafter is not a finishing point, that the hereafter is only intended to prepare us for the following cosmic grade of life. They feel that this new evolution cannot be experienced in the universe as they have got to know that up until now. The life where they are going to is more rarefied. The first souls feel that they are leaving this universe and that they are attracted by a higher cosmic grade of life. 